Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Holotrak and we are playing Europa Universalis 4 together with the newest DLC, Rights of Man. We're playing on very hard difficulty with Lucky Nation set to historical. Welcome back. We are slowly but surely um, improving our troops again. We are um, fabricating against Frankfurt because I want to I wanna convert Baden over there. That's basically one of the last places that I have to convert. Uh, we're already gaining Imperial Authority. Um, even though we are we're short on free cities, we're short on imperial free cities. That's a bit of a shame. But other than that, we're actually doing fine. Uh, yeah, what I have to do is end the military access that I have with Pomerania, and I'm also gonna end it here, uh, end it over here, because we're losing diplo diplo power now. We still have a crap ton of a crap ton of relations because I'm allied with all the electors. Hmm. Okay, okay. Clavis has accepted um, the army of the Palatinate to do stuff. I guess that's fine. I mean, at some point I might actually be able to to just chat my outside alliances, but of those I actually have not that many. Um, sorry, I, I gained the Teutonic Order, which might not have been necessary, but I want someone to fight against Poland. Um, and... Uh, we got Clevis, Cologne, Liège, the Netherlands, yeah, Netherlands, but I, I still view them as part of the Empire, so that's a thing. Why France is attritioning their troops over there is beyond me. I don't understand it, but I don't have to, right? The AI is gonna AI. So all that we want is basically 50, um, 50 Imperial Authority, so that we can go for the next reform. We want to move down these reforms now as quickly as possible. And our commandant has died. Great advisor. Um, actually, a level 3 advisor. Very pricey, the guy. Um, don't really need the lands force limit, but the national manpower modifier would actually be quite good. Not sure what to do there. Um, I'm gonna try to, to live without one. We're nearly there in terms of filling up our, our ideas. So that's pretty good. Uh, we'll have finished the quality ideas then. Political crisis. They may occur from time to time. They often involve the conflict between the ruler and the parliament. Unrest among the nobility or conflicts of interest between the nobility and the merchants or religious leaders. We can lose one stability or we can lose legitimacy. Which is actually moving up very fast because of the everlasting su succession, the number of royal marriages. The papal sanction for our dynasty and that we're Catholic Empire. Yeah, reputation is everything. We're gonna keep the stability. Stability being very useful. I mean, yeah, if it grows by four every year, that's that's pretty nifty. I don't really have a problem with that. We still need troops just to fill up the armies that we currently have. Our truce with Luxembourg has ended. So, we're still waiting on the Savoyard Separatists. They might not actually pop because now we're standing in Savoy. Or Savoyan. As it's called in German. We're still calling Wallis. And uh, yeah, that's Bavarian France, believe it or not. <laughs> Which is kind of cool. Having, having a Bavarian France. We still have unlawful territory, but it's only the Teutonic Order, and they are my they are my vassal. And I gave them those provinces, so that's actually fine. That's fine. Our heir Ludwig is now strict. When ruling Bavaria, it will give us plus five percent discipline. Nice one. I like it. I wouldn't mind um, if my ruler died because our heir could uh, ascend to the throne, and that will give us not only ten imperial authority, but I think twelve point five because we're gaining twenty five percent more to every sort of imperial authority thing that we that we get. Oh, they're fighting Baden over there. You're currently fighting Sweden and Cleves. We might actually not it not, might not be necessary to attack them over there. I'll bring my troops into Württemberg. Which has a 38 supply limit, that's fine. And uh, Teutonic Pretender Rebels have risen up in Stettin. They are following Adam von Heuningen. Well, I'm gonna send my troops in there. I just put a Wittelsbach on the throne there. We're, we're not gonna let them descend into anarchy. 
Looking forward to having all the stuff caught. Um, the ruler of Denmark died. Let's go for another royal marriage. I mean, Denmark is still holding Holstein. They have been very useful, though, in the past. So I think we'll, we'll be fine. Right. Um, come back to Rotibor. And the Ottomans have sabotaged my military recruitment. God damn it, Ottomans. Gonna do the counter espionage. Who's, who's my rival? Still got four rivals. I can't possibly work against all of them. I need more diplomats. England has discovered the spice trade. These guys uh, do have some problem or other. Let's move our troops into Barois or Bourgogne rather, for now. Savoy doesn't have enough force limit. Um, yeah, these guys are still missing a bunch of troops. Hmm. Well, we'll see how it goes. These guys are fighting. We've got Catholic zealots in Lüneburg. Yeah, that place is already Catholic. Why are you fighting Catholic zealots? First Catholic army. Maybe they made a wrong decision. No, they're still Catholic. That's fine then. What gives? Liège is completely Protestant now, but they're finally trying to get that one back. Um, that place still has religious zeal until 21. Then they'll be able to, to return it. Um, Poland is in a military alliance with uh, Georgia. The truce with Syria has ended. These guys are proper Catholics. We don't have any problem with that then. Come on. We're nearly there for a reason for war against Frankfurt. And that's what I want. That's what I need. Um, yeah, that, that'll be caught in an instant. I'll just move my troops over to Leipzig. So that we can take out the unhalted army. Uh, I'm going to move my troops into Barois. Rautibor is now caught. Very good. And we can finally finish our quality ideas. Which gives us more artillery combat ability. And it gives us the discipline. Amazing. Um, now the next one that we're going to go for is I think innovative. Um, because that will sort of allow us... Um, some more diplomatic reputation, uh, because we have the diplomatic ideas. I mean, it would be kind of nice to have the influence ideas, but I think we're way past that. I should have started with these, I think, um, despite the um, diplomatic ideas also being really good. We might still go for it at some point, but I think innovative ideas are going to be better. Plus, it also does synergize very nicely with the quality ideas. Getting 20% more infantry combat ability is amazing. And you've got to sort of plan these policies uh, when you take when you take those um, decisions for ideas. Yeah, definitely a boon. Uh, we're going to allow friendlies to attach to this army. How's the policy on the other armies? No, don't attach to that one. Don't attach to that one either. Um, okay, we're, we're at full strength now, which is pretty nifty. Um, Poland have claimed Breslau. Stop that, Poland! You're not gonna, you're not gonna win it. Right. These guys only have a level one fort, so they should be very easy to take out. Okay. Right. It's time for action. Frankfurt, fabricate the claim. Go for it. Um, stop building the spy network. We don't need that. Um, Baden, you're still allied with Frankfurt. Yes, you are. So, we'll go for it. We're gonna declare war on Frankfurt. Ulm is not gonna join, which suits me just fine. Aachen can join, Anhalt can join, Baden will join, Luxembourg will join. So, oh, and the Ravensburg would actually be willing to, to do this. They might have an ulterior motive, though. They might have an ulterior motive. Well, we'll might just call them. They they don't really trust me, though. Uh, they might have wars that are more difficult than that one. So I I sort of keep them in my back pocket. His free city has no castle's belly. Oh, we're gonna lose some stability. 
Okay, so we needed to gain the claim. War goal is to take Frankfurt. Yeah, we're gonna lose a bunch of stability because of reasons. Is that worth it? Shouldn't I attack someone else then? Novgorod is not a thing. Austria is possible. No, I, I want to get rid of it. I'll, I'll be able to, to up my stability at some point again. It's not that important. Um, I can do that with my admin power. We, we're not, we wouldn't pay that much for increasing stability. Um, because we're at positive stability. Um, currently. I mean, throwing away three stability... It's not great. I don't want to fight Austria though. I mean, let's have a look at Austria's military. Um, so we're the third biggest military power. We don't have any manpower though. Uh, where are you, Austria? Over here. They got 40,000 men. Only 40,000, eh? So they got 20 over here, 20 over there. And then you got Memmingen. Novgorod. Novgorod is a no-brainer. I don't really need them. Completely ignore them. Right. This could work. This could work. Let's bring them down. Uh, we'll try it. We'll try it. Austria, what's your military tech? That's 17. Yeah, we're at 16. Does some cavalry shock, but it's it's not a very important level, level 17. Supply limit is good. We definitely need that at some point. Um, well, let me send a spy to these guys then, to Baden. They're not willing to take the enforced religious unity. So, build the spy network. And let's hope that it, let's hope that it works. We don't really need the claim on them then. So, we'll sort of do a surprise attack. Let's bring these guys back down. We don't have to fight Luxembourg then. Are you still Catholic? Yes. Okay. As long as everybody stays Catholic, we won't have a problem. And, yeah, you also should not annex anybody and uh, not do other bad stuff. I mean, I could take Breisgau. This is Upper Rhineland, Upper Rhineland, Upper Rhineland. I could take these two and finally link my territories without killing anyone, actually. It might not be bad. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Why not? Um, right, spy network. We're gonna claim Sundgau. We're gonna take it. And it'll defend Bern and it'll um, defend Breisgau. And then we'll, f we'll finally be, be done with... Uh, with conquering inside the empire. I don't really have to take that from Metz, but I want to hurt Austria, that's for certain. I mean, I could just attack Austria as well, but they are they do have some heavy hitters on their side. Savoy is not a factor anymore. Milan isn't very important. Brittany, Baden, Brunswick, Lorraine. Oh, Lorraine would be in this one. Yeah, that's not great. Well, we'll, we'll be fine. We'll take these two and then we're really done, I promise, I promise. All we're gonna do then is sort of give Poland to the Teutonic Order and uh, I mean at some point I want to take that from Austria, but oh well. Austria, uh, boundary dispute, we could gain a claim on Nemur or lose stability. Well, uh, that's not a thing. Diplomat from Austria has been discovered spying on us, okay. I guess that's the thing. Truce with Hungary has ended. Yeah, I really don't want that conquest uh, thing against France. I guess my trust is going up a little bit. Um, we'll also increase with time as long as you're allied or one of is the subject of the other. Mm -hmm. Okay. Not sure if that's a th if that's a thing. If that actually will slowly improve. Will it also slowly deteriorate? I mean... I'm gonna call a bunch of these guys into the war against Baden. 
They don't have a claim on it. Ugenti humiliate rival against Hungary. That's that's okay. Uh, at least we're gonna gain some manpower until we are ready to fabricate those claims. Let's just let's just go up in speed. There's not much happening right now. I will. Yeah, I might not. I might not. These guys are still gonna be there in 14 years. Um, I will deactivate my forts right now. Uh, we're still losing money. I mean, I could just kick out these guys. They're doing good work, though. They're doing great work. Not sure. Not sure what to do. We gotta gotta turn it around at some point. Fleet maintenance, fort maintenance, army maintenance. I might I might still have to buy down the inflation. I think that might be it. Gaining 7.14 papal influence. Let's go up even more. Let's go up more. Let's just hope that Baden doesn't join a military alliance. This is really weird, Palatinate. Not sure what you're doing there, but oh well. France paid all foreign debt of the Great Horde. Our truce with the Knights ended. Ragusa, Riga, Augsburg. Oh well then. Do it if you if you need to. Come on. Our truce with the Teutonic Order has ended. With Magdeburg has ended. Didn't know we had a truce with the Teutonic Order. Did we? I don't know. These guys still have a truce with me until 21. Three more years. They might join a coalition. They can't do it if they don't have enough aggressive expansion. But I think they will. Especially after I've taken my land over here. I always say we won't take any more land, but then uh, there are always strategic reasons to take more. I can't help it. I'm compelled to do it. This is Upper Rhineland, this is Upper Rhineland, this and this. But yeah, having having a way through our land, it's important. It's important. It needs to happen. Now, influence over Augsburg has expired. No, we're not going to do that. We don't have the money for it anymore. Why are we suddenly gaining more money now? Not sure what's happened there. I guess one of the countries that we gained war reparations from took a loan. No. Well, we just had the cessation of um, church functions ended. Uh, ending. Let's go. Let's go for more speed. Even. Even more speed. Our truce with Mantua has ended. Wallace is now part of our patrimony. That's amazing. Very good. Come on. Spies. We need more spy network. Someone is fighting now. Someone is fighting. Who are you fighting? Lorraine, Brunswick, Aachen and Enno. What's that? Lorrainian conquest of Elsass. I might actually have to fight Lorraine. You're fighting Elsass, Mecklenburg, Ravensburg and Liege. And you're fighting Lorraine, Brunswick, Aachen, and Eno. Yeah, that's that's sort of the normal fare, the standard fare for the emperor. Small princes that do what they what they want. Annoyingly so. Let's improve our relations with Lorraine to the point where they will actually accept a um, unlawful territory. That would be good. Austria has been discovered spying again. Come on, we're nearly there for the claim on Sundgau. Okay, we've got Brandenburgian separatists in Sternberg near Lausitz and Neumark. Oh yeah, they're now subject. That's not great. There's no fort in the area. There wasn't one in Sternberg. You really should have built one in Sternberg, Teutonic Order. Just saying. Just saying. Um, let's take our leader. And let's just march through these guys. We've got to, I mean, we've got to help our, our guys. Palatinate declared war on Aachen. They cited conquest as well. Why did you do that, Aachen? These guys are fighting these separatists. That also, That's also pretty weird. Um... Yeah, a lot of internal wars are going on now. Palatinate is just about to to actually flip their their vote from me. 
Come on, Palatinate, don't be like that. Come on, trust me. I'm not that bad. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll we'll take the we'll take the claim on Sundgo. We don't really need it. It's just reducing the the admin points a little bit that we that we need. I wouldn't mind getting the next level in in military power, but I think what we need is now more admin power instead. Let's go for it, because I I want to go for the innovative ideas and. Uh, we still need two techs before we get there. Uh, can can pull back our our spy now. We're not quite there with Barden yet. These guys are all mad. They all think that they can do what they want, conquer inside the empire. Oh well, we'll we'll live with it. So man, these guys are kind of brave. At least they are converting those lands. Platinum is no longer renting out their army to fight Barden. Come on, we're nearly there. God damn it. Bartering increases. We're gonna get a bunch of local autonomy. I guess that's fine. I'm not gonna pay the 100 uh, admin power to do something I don't really need. We won the Battle of Niederlausitz. I'm gonna go for that one. Yeah, I don't think they'll be able to win that one. Come on, stop wasting your manpower, to Tony Gorda. It's not necessary. Yeah, we'll, we'll go up in speed. Come on. Battle of Sternberg has been won. Okay, and that one has been won as well. So, I've got to bring these guys back to mines. Austria declared war on Venice. That's actually something that makes me happy. These guys won't join, I don't think. Come on. Go for it. I wouldn't mind fighting fighting Barden basically alone. Um, right, so we're going to take the claim on Barden. Um, Breisgau is what we want. Let's go for it. We've got a claim on Breisgau now. Uh, next time we will attack Barden. Um, I wonder if Austria is still going to join here. Yeah, they will. Occupied and besieged provinces. We will have an easier time fighting Austria, though, um, now that they're at war with Venice, England, Newfoundland, Argentine, English Brazil, 13 colonies, Switzerland, Burgundy, and Eno. <laughs> nice. <laughs> they're gonna get. They're gonna um, have a bad time there. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna end it here. Um, this has been sort of a slower episode. I. Sorry about that. We're going to have very intensive episodes in the future again. Um, it's just the standard fare as an emperor, just waiting, trying to keep the electors and the princes. And it looks like we have to sort of restore order once these guys are done with their wars. I'll, I'll reset it to the status quo. <laughs> That's a permanent power struggle between the emperor. The princes try to conquer and gain more power. And I try to take their power away from them and give it back to the people that had it before. But yeah, for now, thanks for watching. Hope you join me next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.